Hello everyone, Sterling here of Cactus Lady Creation and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn regular plastic bags into plarn, which is plastic yarn. I will show you how to make one continuous strand of plarn and also how to spin it as well. If you like this project and post it online, please tag me at Cactus Lady Creation and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to be notified of future tutorials as well. Alright, let's get started. First, take your plastic bag and turn it sideways. This is one without a handle, but you can also use one with handles. Next, we will neatly fold up the bag and smooth it out as you do to minimize creases. Then, take your scissors and cut out the bottom of the bag, which we cannot use for this project. Now evenly cut the bag into strips of plastic, which will create a loop. Continue with cutting your plastic bag evenly and when you get to the end, cut off the top portion which will also cut off the handles if you have one with handles. Place the top portion to the side as well as we are not able to use that for this project. Now we have all of these plastic loops and next we will connect them to create one continuous strand of yarn. To connect each of the loops, we will tie them together using a lark's head knot. To do this, first place one loop on top of the other. Then continue with that top loop and wrap it around and behind that bottom loop and continue pulling it which will create a knot connecting the two. We will continue with connecting all of the loops in this way. If at any point you accidentally tear the plastic, it's not a problem. Just simply tie it together with a regular overhand knot and continue connecting your loops together until you have a nice, long, continuous strand of yarn. Once the plarn is connected into one long strand, I like to use my yarn winder to roll up the yarn into a neat ball with a center pull so it doesn't get knotted up. It's easy to set up as it simply clasps onto the table and I put the plarn through the hole and onto the slits and then wind it up. I have placed this tool in the description box below. However, if you don't have this tool, that is okay as well. Now that the plarn is wound into a ball, I use a rubber band to secure the end. Next we will take our yarn and spin it. To do this we will need a tool called a drop spindle, which I have also placed a link of where you can find this one in the description box below. First we will tie the end of our plarn to the handle of our spindle with a double regular overhand knot the same knot that you use to tie your shoes. Then we will place that plarn into the slit and onto the hook at the top. Now we will begin to rotate the spindle in a counterclockwise direction which will allow the plarn to begin to twist, creating one cord. As you continue turning the spindle, that twist will begin to travel upwards.
Once a nice portion of our plarn is twisted, we will then begin to wrap it around the handle and place it back through the slit and onto the hook and continue with twisting. As you do this, make sure to continue twisting the spindle in the same direction as before to keep your plarn twisting consistently. Each time after twisting that plarn onto the handle, make sure that the untwisted portion is placed above the hook so that that portion is able to be twisted. As you continue to twist, feel free to spin the spindle and let go of it with the hand you're twisting it with while holding onto the cord with the other, which allows gravity to aid in twisting the plarn. This is why this instrument is called a drop spindle, because you can drop it while spinning. How fun is that? Continue until you have a nice amount of plarn spun. Once you do, begin to unravel all of your plarn from the handle. Then you can use your yarn winder to wind up your freshly spun plarn into a ball if you like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave me a comment of what you would like to make with your plarn. In the next video, I will show you a simple crochet basket tutorial. Until then, thank you for watching.